Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So today we're going to talk about a really awesome tool for Gmail and Google Apps users that makes electronic signatures really easy. So Hello Sign has been around for a while now in the Chrome Web Store and also as a Drive application, but it was just recently added to the Google Apps Marketplace. So that means as a Google Apps admin, you can push it out to all of your users through the More dropdown in your Gmail interface. So like I mentioned, there's a couple of ways to access HelloSign after you've installed it through the marketplace. So your users could click on the More dropdown and then select HelloSign. So after you've added HelloSign to your domain through the marketplace, all of your members are automatically added to the team. So you can access it here and see that all the members of my domain are automatically added. And to just remind them that you've installed HelloSign on your domain, you can go ahead and email them invitations. So that way they'll get a nice email in their inbox notifying that they have this new service to use. So what HelloSign does is it allows you to create electronic signatures and then add them to documents. So you can make the process of signing a document a lot more simple than printing out a document, signing it, scanning it, and then uploading it back. So first of all, to get started, you'll want to create a signature. So we'll click on the Getting Started section and create a signature. So there's a number of ways to create a signature. You can upload an image file, so this would be some other document that you've signed, or if you've just taken a picture of your signature from someplace else. You could take a photo of your signature, like I just mentioned, and then just email it from your smartphone. Or you could just type in your signature to create a text version, but still a legal representation of your signature. What I'm going to do right now is just draw in my signature just to show you guys a simpler way of doing this. So all I need to do here is just click and start drawing my signature. So after I'm done with this, I understand that this is will be the representation of my signature going forward. So I'll just click Next, and I can get a nice look at my signature there. So I'll click Save, and if I want to, I can add other signatures as well down the line. So after you've created a signature, you can go ahead and assign this signature to documents as you go along. Or if, if you think you're going to be using the same type of documents very frequently, you can create a template. So I'll click Create Template. And one of our favorite things about HelloSign is the integration with Google Drive. So if I click the Google Drive icon here, I can pull up this list of documents. And then I see I have this non-disclosure agreement here. So I'm going to click on that and then click Select. So from here, I can assign roles of people that need to sign this document. So with the non-disclosure agreement, there will be the disclosing party and the accepting party. After assigning the roles for signatures, I just need to decide where the signatures are going to go on the actual document. So from here, you have a couple of options. So you can add fields for signatures, initials, text box. For right now, I'm just going to show you how to assign a signature field. So after you click the icon, then you just need to select the place on the page where you want the signature to go. And then you can just drag it and place it. So this portion right here will be the disclosing party. And I want to add another for the receiving party. So I'll click over here and just assign that signature. So when I'm done, I'll just click continue and then give the template a name. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and use this template. Since Google Guru will be the disclosing party in this situation, I'm going to, I'll send one email to myself and then another email to the accepting party. When I'm done adding that information, I'll just request a signature. So once I check my Gmail inbox, I can see this message from me about the NDA. So this shows that a signature has been requested. So I'll review the document, get started. And all I need to do is just insert my signature. After I'm all done, I'll click Agree, and the document has been signed. So that's just one way of using HelloSign to send out a document for multiple parties to sign. You can also obviously just sign a document from within HelloSign by uploading it from Google Drive and then giving it your own signature. One thing to keep in mind is that for the free version of this product, you'll only be allowed to send three requests a month per user. So what we suggest doing is identifying the power users of your team and giving them the option to upgrade. That way you can leave everybody else on the team with the free version if you need to and give these power users the full functionality of HelloSign. So that's our introduction to HelloSign. Like I said, you can install it from the Chrome Web Store and if you're a Google Apps admin and you want to sign it to your entire domain, you should check it out in the Google Apps Marketplace.
If you guys have any questions about hello sign, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.